Okay, so here's a, another video on request. A uh, student asks for a video regarding drawing the MO energy diagram for period two homodiatom. Okay, so period two, of course, is boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon. I guess over here is lithium and beryllium. Okay. So we're doing a MO diagram for a period two. All right, HOMO diatom, and that means that we've got whatever this atom is, just a second, you're a little sloppy there, just a second. Whatever this atom is, it's bonded to that, to another one of itself, and that's what HOMO diatom means, okay? That's what that means. All right, so draw the molecular energy diagram. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say, all right, what's our template? And we've, we've done this a couple times before, but let me go back and say it again. So I think easily worth repeating. So the 1s, right, 1s, if this is the energy, it makes uh, an, a sigma antibonding and a sigma bonding, right? And here's 2s, right? This is sigma 1s bonding, sigma 1s antibonding, right? And here's 2. S, right? So you have to keep this in mind. You have to bear in mind this is what's going on, all right? You know this is what you need. So this is 2S, and I, haven't, I don't have my 2P written here, but you can see it right here, right? 2P. Now, uh, you have to remember, you have to memorize, really, that up through group 5A, we have this kind of a, an arrangement. Look at that. And up and from 6a and on, we have this kind of arrangement, right? So as you see the difference between those two, uh, let me not let me not even explain it. Just say that that's just the way it is, okay? So and you know that as these energy as these uh, orbitals get filled, they'll get filled from the lowest down, right? So sigma is going to get filled first here. So if you've got a, uh, if you've got and you know what, you've got the sliders uh, on these, when you're doing these in Alex, you've got the sliders down below. I haven't shown it, I think I can, actually I can show that from here. Yeah, these are awesome, watch this. So the first uh, orbital that's gonna get filled is those, or atomic orbitals, those two, right? And the lowest one first, right? And then the next one is gonna get filled are those two. And then those, you see it? Then those, can you see those from where you are? Okay, and then finally those. So sigmas are gonna get paired, and the pi's are gonna get paired, all right? And this is what we got here. Now, we're dealing with, ne I think in this question it was neon. Let me go back. This was neon, right? So let me go back here. If it's neon, well, I, I did pull up a periodic table so you could see it. Neon's number 10, right? You see it right there? It's 10. And so let me go back here. It's bigger than 6a. So we're going to be using this kind of diagram here, right? All right, so let's go back to the sketch pad now. And we've talked about that. Let's introduce, uh, let's do just one second here. Get a new, uh, let's get rid of this layer. Go to this one. And let's start from ground up, okay? So we're dealing with neon bonding with neon, and I'm going to make my my uh, one s, two s, right, and two p. Right, where this is a sigma, this is a sigma star, right? Here's a pi, and here's a pi star. Now in neon, let's go ahead and fill these guys out. In neon, you know, you've, your one is filled, your two is filled, and you know what? So is your two p. 
filled, right? So what that means is, and was it neutral? I forget now. Let's go back here to the question. It's going to get a little bit busy here for a second. Yeah, it was neutral, right? You see that? That means all the the uh, means that, that all the um, orbitals are filled. So let's go back here to. Right, and so that's the energy diagram. Now I don't remember what the, how the question was worded. What was the question? Let's go back here, and the question was: Draw the molecular orbital energy diagram. Oh, well, I've drawn it for the neon molecule. Okay, we're just supposed to draw it. So when you draw it, you know Alex is going to give you the the the, tech, the palette to go through and get your boxes and such. Uh, so we're going to have to make sure we have everything labeled right. And let me go back there. Okay, now we have to label everything. So let's go ahead and fill everything up. My arrows are a little bit too small to see, perhaps. And these are completely empty, right? Because we used them. So I'm just going to put a line through those. Those are empty. Because that's those are the orbitals of the of the atom. Come back here to black. Now I got to say I don't remember all of what has to be labeled. So let's go ahead and label. So I'm going to label everything in let's say uh, green. This is a 1s orbital, and this is a 1s orbital, and this is a sigma right 1s bonding orbital. This is a sigma 1s antibonding orbital. This is a 2s orbital, this is a 2s orbital, and this is a sigma 2s orbital, right? And this is a sigma 2s antibonding orbital, right? Now I know this is sigma uh, because I memorized it, and this is also, this is going to be sigma star, but this is going to be sigma 2p, right? Because it comes from a 2p. This is a 2p as well, right? That'll be sigma 2p. This will be sigma 2p star. I know you can't really read that up there, but. All right, and this is going to be a pi 2p bonding orbital, right? And this will be a pi 2p star. All right, in case you can't read that, what if that one says pi, wait, pi 2p star, right? And the very top one is sigma 2p star. And the one below it is a pi. 2p and the one below it right here is sigma 2p right and that one is sigma 2s star right and the one below it is a sigma 2s okay all right so i think the answer is basically here i don't know how legible that is but yours will be legible because you're going to be doing it in alex which gives you a, a palette which is uh, automatically legible. So, all right, hope that's helpful.